guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a whole bag of empties to share with you guys, so let's talk some trash. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull things out of the bag randomly as usual and we'll just get right into it. Okay, the first thing I'm pulling out is this sexy hair, healthy sexy hair, soy touchable with argan oil weightless hairspray. I paid $6 for this on clearance at Marshalls and I used it up rather quickly. I really did like this shamp shampoo hairspray and it did not give me a headache. As most of you know, if you watch my channel, I have a sensitivity to perfumes and hairsprays, so I have to be really careful, and most hairsprays don't work for me. This one did, so I would definitely repurchase this one. Next thing I'm pulling out are these cucumber infused makeup cleansing wipes. There were 33 wipes in here, and yeah, it says refresh and revitalize. These, um, I believe I got these at... Ross, it says not tested on animals, so that's good. And yeah, I would repurchase these. They weren't anything spectacular or special, but they worked and they didn't irritate my skin and they smelled good, so I would repurchase these. And I'm not sure what brand this is. It just says cucumber infused makeup wipes. Let me see. Yeah, I definitely don't see like a name brand unless cucumber is the name brand but I don't think it is so oh maybe it's this one body body prescriptions maybe that is the brand I don't know not sure next thing I'm pulling out is this Tarte Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer and this is the shade Park Avenue Princess and there's still a little bit left in here but it's pretty much an empty I will still use the rest of that for sure but it it's pretty much done. So yeah, I really, really did like this bronzer. It is not a matte bronzer, but it's still really pretty, especially if you have dry skin and in the summer, you know, or just whenever, for me, you just wanna be more glowy, which I always do. I really liked this bronzer, so I would repurchase this. And this is a like travel or sample size, so they do have bigger ones as well. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is this empty Biore Nose Strip Deep Cleansing Pore Strip. This is not the box, but this is the wrapper that I have left. This did actually work for me, so I would repurchase these. And what you do is you just wet your nose, and then you just put the little strip all down the sides of your nose and leave it on for 15 minutes. I actually try to wear it overnight when I'm sleeping and then peel it off in the morning and it works pretty great. So yeah, I definitely recommend those. The next thing I'm pulling out is this Honest Company Honest Conditioner, Nourishing Conditioner for all hair types. This is natural, enriching, and hydrating and this is the scent Sweet Orange Vanilla and I believe I paid $3 for this at Marshalls. I have raved about the Honest Company. I absolutely love their products and I would definitely repurchase this. This is actually a repurchase and I will definitely repurchase it. And this one just says plant-based, non-toxic, color safe, vegan, biodegradable, and pH balanced. So yeah, really did love this conditioner. Okay, next I'm pulling out a shampoo. This is Geely Green. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is what it looks like. And this is just a the Geely Green Boutique Collection Repair Shampoo, and it says pure and natural. It has 6.8 fluid ounces in here. I believe I paid $3 for this one as well on clearance at Marshalls, and it just says Geely Green Boutique Collection is a combination of pure natural ingredients selected geographically for the unique health benefits they provide your hair and scalp. Geely Green Repair Shampoo is the ultimate solution for hair in need of nourishment and mine definitely is in need of nourishment, always. So yeah, I really love the way this shampoo worked and it smelled amazing and I would definitely repurchase. I don't think that I've actually seen this brand anywhere else other than Marshalls and I've only seen it that one time so I might have to look up their website to repurchase but I definitely would get this and I am interested to see what other kind of products they have. So just that one. Okay. Next is like a 
favorite. I will definitely be repurchasing this. This is my go-to lipstick, favorite lipstick, like favorite. Okay, this is the Gerard Cosmetics Serenity Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is my absolute favorite shade ever. It is just so beautiful. And I have to like scrape the sides to even get any more out. That is the shade. This is the one created uh, in collab with Manny MUA. I don't know if you've seen his channel. Um, but yeah, I love this lipstick. I will definitely be repurchasing this for sure. Okay, next is this Lucita or Lucetta Argan Oil Hair Mask Moisture and Shine. I got this in an Ipsy bag and it's just a hair mask. It's kind of like a extra conditioning conditioner basically or a mask for your hair instead of your face. And this stuff smells really good. I would definitely repurchase this. But again, I got it in an Ipsy bag, so I'd have to um, look around. I think I've only seen this brand at that um, the outlet store, Bales, that I go to occasionally. Um, but I don't think I've sold it, seen it sold anywhere else. But I will definitely be checking out their website. It's lucidabeauty.com. But yeah, I would repurchase this. I did really like this hair mask. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I really do like this mascara. Mine did dry out pretty quickly, but it does. I don't know if I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but if you don't, that little that little thing right there it says six months. Once you open, makeup does expire. Um, I still use makeup past its expiration date if I can, if it still works for me. But it's just like you know an expiration date on your food. It's recommended that you eat it by. You know that date or um, throw it out after that date but with makeup I'm a little iffy about that because of course they do have to you know keep selling things and I do feel like it's a marketing technique and makeup does last a little long some makeup some makeup does start to break down when it says it will but some last a lot longer than the expiration date so you'll just have to use your better judgment with it of course but I did really enjoy this mascara. I just felt like it dried out pretty quickly. And I have repurchased it, but I repurchased the Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara. And I like to keep one of those in my kit as well for my clients, you know, for brides. You know, you want waterproof mascara on your wedding day for sure. If you're gonna, you know, you might cry. And um, I really did like this mascara, but I recommend getting the waterproof one. That's just my personal opinion on it, but I would repurchase this. So, yeah. And this is the travel or sample size as well. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is this Jean-Pierre Micellar Water. And I think I paid three or four dollars for this. And I really did like this Micellar Water. And I honestly, I did a review on this Micellar Water and the Garnier Micellar Water. Those are the only two that I've tried and I really like them both. I did feel like this one worked just a little bit better though and I definitely would repurchase. Okay, next I'm pulling out this Natural Love Devotion Baby Mantra Newborn Shampoo and Body Wash with Coconut and Olive Oil. Allergy tested, pure, natural, gluten-free, dye-free, toxin-free, cruelty-free, and natural ingredients. So, yeah, this is for babies, but I do have a toddler and I use this on her and I really did like it. It is a little more high end as far as baby products go, but I did really enjoy this shampoo and body wash for my little one. So I do recommend this one if you have little ones as well. Okay, next, I'm pulling out these um, Nature's Bounty Probiotic Gummies. I do feel like they're putting these in the one of the boxes, either BoxyCharm or like FabFitFun or something. One of the one of the subscription boxes. I saw this in a video where they're sending these out, and I'm all about probiotics and prebiotics. They're so good for you, and I highly recommend getting a good probiotic. I did really like these. They were yummy just keep them out of the reach of your children because they do like look like candy or like gummies like fruit snacks so yeah but this is just um 
the probiotic gummy strain bacillus coagulans and it's just friendly bacteria for digestive health this one has 4 billion live cultures per serving there are 60 gummies in here pineapple raspberry and orange flavored and it said made with natural flavors guaranteed quality laboratory tested non-gmo no artificial flavor no artificial sweetener no milk no lactose no soy no gluten no wheat no yeast and no fish so there you go it's just a probiotic so okay the next thing i actually just found this out today i know some of you probably have already seen or know about this but this is the elf poreless primer and i also have the hydrating one it's the blue bottle and it just says fills in fine lines and reduces the appearance of enlarged pores so i used this one up a while ago and i did feel like i went through it rather quickly and today i found out why watch this okay look at this bottle Look how much you're really getting. You're really only getting like from the silver part up. And I mean it like from there to there is how much product you're getting. You're not getting any of this. So I was kind of bummed to find that out because I really did like this primer and I really do like my hydrating primer. It's only $6 a bottle and I thought that was a really good deal for this much primer but you're really not getting that much. You're getting maybe a quarter of what they are marketing it as. So yeah, I kind of am upset with Elf for doing that. I feel like that's kind of shady, but I know they're probably not the only ones who do things like that, but it's just, it just looks really bad on you. Like, come on now. Like, just put it in the right size bottle. We'll probably still buy it, you know? Like, just be real. Be honest with us. Come on. Um, yeah, so... I do like it, but I don't think it is worth $6 for... For this... For this much. Just saying. Okay, the next thing I'm pulling out is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil got this in an ipsy bag a while back i really love this during the winter time actually during any time because i have dry skin so i'm all about beauty oils primer oils i love oils and if you have oily skin you're probably not gonna love this but if you have dry skin i highly recommend getting or trying one like this because it is really good stuff and even though i got this in an ipsy bag when it gets closer to winter time i probably will repurchase this Next thing I'm pulling out, sorry, I'm trying to get comfy in this chair, um, is this Win Sweet Almond Mint Replenishing Treatment Mist. This is the travel size. My mom had a few of these and she gave me one and this stuff smells so good and it really hydrates and like moisturizes your hair. I would recommend only putting it on the ends and only just do like one or two sprays, maybe three, depending on how much hair you have, but you have to be careful because it will make your hair look oily, but yeah, this stuff smells great. Really like this and I would repurchase. Even though I didn't buy it, I would buy it. So there's that. Okay, this next thing is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This bottle is like dirty, but this is the cooling and hydrating oil-free, paraben-free um, setting makeup setting spray and this one is the chill one it makes you like not matte but more of like a dewy finish and I really like this one even more than the all nighter one this is definitely my favorite setting spray I've ever tried well I take that back I do like the MAC fix plus but I use that more for eyeshadows than a setting spray but it kind of has the same finish so I highly recommend this. We'll definitely be repurchasing this. Okay, next I'm pulling out this Briochio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. No sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. And no artificial colors and no chemical fragrances. So, like I said, I have sensitivities to fragrances and perfumes and products with fragrance. And um, 
I really, really love this brand for hair care. I've only tried a few of their products that I've gotten in Ipsy, but I'm certainly considering looking into buying a set because I do love the way it smells and it doesn't give me a headache or any like sensitivities and it works so good. Um, yeah, I really love this brand and I highly, highly recommend Briogeo if I'm saying that right. I hope I am, but I don't know. Okay, next I'm pulling out this L'Oreal Color Rich Beyond Pink Anti-Feathering Lip Liner. Okay, it says Beyond Pink and then it says Rose. So, I'm not sure which color it actually is. Maybe it's Beyond Pink Rose. I don't know. But this is what it looks like. I really, really like this lip liner. There's nothing left. Maybe I can get like a tiny swatch in there. Yeah. It's, it's about the same color as the Serenity Liquid Lipstick. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this lip liner. Highly recommend this. Would definitely repurchase. And I've already bought another shade. And I'm planning to get the other shades because I like it so much. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. And as you can tell, like, I feel like I'm pretty easy to please. Like, I like most of the stuff, like, that I use um, lately. Um, I feel like I'm not, like, a tough critic. I might be more so the longer I do this just because I'm sure you're trying to like you recommend everything like <laughs> I mean I get it but at the same time I am giving my honest opinion and review this is not affiliated or sponsored or anything like that this is my honest opinion about this stuff and I'm pretty easy to please so if you're not you know you might not like these things but um yeah that's just that's just how I am so we out another probiotic gummy bottle and this stuff I've been piling up since the last empties video a couple months ago so this is like a few months worth of empties so this is the rainbow light delicious berry flavor probiolicious probiotic gummies clinically researched probiotic with prebiotic support prebiotics are even better for you than probiotics and if you can get both in one that's spectacular I absolutely love this brand out of all the probiotics I've tried, these taste the best. These have probiotics and prebiotics, so that's like double for your money. And these are gluten-free, milk and dairy-free. Um, let's see. I don't know. These are my favorite probiotics, and I've tried several different brands. These are my absolute favorite. I get these at Kroger, and I've found them at Marshall's before as well so yeah I highly highly recommend these right here for sure okay next I'm pulling out this top Ganic professional collection shampoo enriched with argan oil from Morocco for dry and colored hair and this is paraben free and I believe I think I only paid like five dollars for this maybe and I don't know how I feel about it like honestly I don't think I honestly I don't know that I would repurchase this just because I just didn't really like it I mean it wasn't like bad it just didn't blow me away it wasn't great so I didn't really notice a huge difference it was just like any regular shampoo I did like it that it was paraben free and I honestly bought it because of the name it says top organic so like it had like organic in the name but this is definitely not organic um it is made with argan oil it does have vitamin e and dead sea minerals but it's definitely not organic at all so um yeah you can just look at the ingredients and tell and sometimes names of things and marketing products can be a little mis misleading but um you just have to be careful but when you're in the store with kids and you're trying to grab what you need and get out you know sometimes you just grab whatever looks like it might be the safest but this is definitely not organic or all all natural and not all of the stuff that I use is obviously but um yeah this just didn't really do it for me so I probably wouldn't repurchase this next I'm pulling out this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water I cannot remember if this was in my last empties video. I found it on the floor in here and it might have been because I dropped it on the floor during that video or before I filmed that video. So if it was in there, I'm sorry if this is like a repeat, but I love this stuff. You can use this 
as like a moisturizing spray or like a refresher, like a skin refresher or a primer or a setting spray. And it is so good for your skin and it smells amazing. And I absolutely love this stuff and it will be in my skincare video. Coming up, I know I've been talking about it forever. I'm going to get it done. Summer has started and I'm gonna have a lot more time you know, since I'm not doing homeschool anymore, I'm going to have a lot more time to film videos for you guys and get caught up on everything on here and, you know, do some things, some videos that you guys have requested and that is one of them. So definitely continue to comment below on any video requests that you have for me and I will start making my list and getting on those for you guys ASAP. So yeah, I love this rose water and I actually own a lot of Mario Badescu skincare products and I absolutely love, love this brand. I was introduced, this is one of the Jaclyn Hill made me buy it things. <laughs> you know, anything she recommends, usually I get it. Don't tell her. <laughs> but yeah, I love this right here. Okay, I'm pulling out another Mario Badescu, Badescu. <laughs> skincare vitamin C serum and I'm really excited about this because I love this stuff and it just says antioxidant vitamin C protects skin from damaging free radicals and is essential in collagen production this cop this serum contains 7.5 percent ascorbic acid or vitamin C to reduce signs of aging brighten uneven skin tone and improve overall texture formulated with high hyaluronic acid to retain skin's own moisture and collagen to enhance firmness and elasticity. So I would use this like every night before bed and I just love this stuff and I had another bottle that I had been using and it was only like halfway empty and I dropped it. This is a glass bottle. I dropped it the night before last and busted it all over my bathroom floor. So that really stinks but I would repurchase this, highly recommend it. Love this stuff. Definitely get you some vitamin C serum. All right, next I'm pulling out this It Cosmetics YBBB Your Brows But Better um, Unifor Universal Transforming Taupe is the shade. And this is just a brow pen. It is a lot like the Anastasia Brow Wiz. But yeah, it's all gone. I love this brow pen. I would definitely repurchase this. It is amazing. And it is a lot like the Brow Wiz. I think it's about the same price, honestly. But they're very similar. But yes, I would repurchase this. Okay, next I'm pulling out this Hollywood California Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. This is what the package looks like. And this is just a kind of like a face mask and this stuff is really expensive but it smells so good and it works really great and when you're using it it feels like you're at the spa I really like this and I would definitely repurchase even though it is a little pricier I think it's worth it I am really getting into skincare that since I've been subscribed to Ipsy I've really been trying a lot more skincare products and being introduced to different brands and I really like this brand. I think this is the second thing I've gotten from them and I really love their stuff. So definitely would repurchase. Okay, next I'm pulling out this Global Beauty Care Spa Treatment Mask. This is the Green Tea Soothing 20 Minute Facial Therapy. Effectively moisturizes and nourishes skin. And this has vitamins A, C, and E in it. I paid $1 for this on the clearance section at Marshalls. I would definitely repurchase. I love the Global Beauty Care masks. They're really great. I would definitely recommend these. And I have a lot of skincare empties in here and you'll probably hear me repeat a lot of this in my skincare video, so I apologize for that. But anyway, um, this is the Clarisonic Refreshing Gel Cleanser. It says the improved formula. Foaming gel purifies and refreshes. So, I don't have Clarisonic, but this was on, you know, I got this on sale. And it still works as a cleanser, just not like with the little Clarisonic thingy. 
Um, but yeah, this is just the sample size and it says it gently removes impurities and diminishes imperfections while controlling excess shine. I honestly didn't like this. I didn't like the way it smelled. I didn't feel like it worked that well. Um, it's kind of hard for me to tell because um, I don't really... I mean, I still felt like... I just felt like my, my face still didn't feel clean after using it. If that makes any sense. But, um... And I just hated the... It was a very chemically smell. I like more of a sweet or more floral scent or more like natural pure kind of scent rather than a chemically fragrancy kind of smell but yeah so I, I wouldn't recommend this so sorry this is my absolute favorite like regular matte lipstick that I like drugstore matte lipstick that I've ever tried not like a liquid lipstick but just like a regular like cream lipstick this is the elf matte lip color pen and this is in the shade T rose I love these little lip pens. I do have a little bit left in here. This is what it looks like. Let's swatch it. I'm going to swatch it right in the middle of these two. So. Oh. There's that. But this is like all I have left right here. <laughs> and I went through a few of these. So I don't know if I've ever put them in an empties video before. But... I've been through a few of these and I will definitely be repurchasing these, especially this shade. Like I have a few other shades, but out of all of them, this is my absolute favorite shade, the T-Rose. And I think this is only like $3 and they last a while. And it does come with like a little sharpener on the end here. And I do absolutely adore this lipstick and highly recommend getting this one. It looks great on all skin tones in my opinion, so favorite right here pulling out some more probiotic gummies with prebiotic fiber and i recommend this one it's not as all natural as the other one that i really liked by rainbow lights but it is still really good and let's see it says no free from wheat milk eggs tree nuts peanuts and contains no preservatives so yeah um, probiotic gummy advanced plus prebiotic fiber not only delivers beneficial probiotics to help support a healthy di digestion and immune system but also the energy source that probiotics need to thrive and that's the prebiotics two great tasting all natural gummies provide three grams of soluble fiber to help meet your daily fiber needs and two billion CFU of probiotics per serving so I did really like these and I did repurchase these already and I do recommend these. I'm pulling out this um, Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. This is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Pocket Back Antibacterial Hand Gel. And I like to keep these in my kit um, because they smell better than just the regular like Germex kind of hand sanitizer. So when you're working on a client and you like touch your face or touch something um, you know, you can make sure your hands are sanitized and it doesn't smell like, it does smell like alcohol, but not like straight alcohol. This, they have all different scents, but this is one of my favorite, the warm vanilla sugar. I like to just have a scented hand sanitizer because it just smells better than just like straight alcohol, you know? So, do you recommend these? And I think they're like $1.50. This one is missing the lid, but this is the travel size of the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. I absolutely love this moisturizer. I used to use it um, before I put on my makeup to moisturize my face. This is for a very dry to dry combination skin. Dermatologist developed, allergy tested. Do like stuff that is allergy tested because you're less likely to break out from using it. And this is 100% fragrance free. So yeah, I really, really like this. Highly recommend it. This sample size was $5, so I'm sure the full size is a little more pricey, but it is worth it in my opinion, and I would repurchase this. Next thing is this Bare Skin, Bare Minerals, Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. This has SPF 20 in it, and this is the shade Bare Shell. I absolutely love this foundation. I think this is 
been in an empties video before, not this one, but I have repurchased and my mom gave me one as well. And I really, really love this foundation and I recommend it, especially if you have dry skin. Um, this is a serum foundation. So if you're oily, you probably won't love this one, but I really, really like this foundation and I, again, recommend it. Okay, the next thing I have is this Mario Badescu Skincare Ceramide Herbal Eye Cream. And it says it is, well, this is what it looks like. And it says for all skin types, and this is loaded with antioxidant vitamin C, botanicals, natural moisture ingredients. Our lightweight, easily absorbed eye cream is an ideal hydrator and preventative anti-aging cream for the delicate eye area. Softens the look of fine lines and wrinkles. And to use, gently pat a small amount under and around the corners of the eyes morning and night. Not tested on animals. So yeah, um, I really did like this eye cream. It took me a long time to use it all up. Um, because I don't use an eye cream every day or every night. And this is a little bigger. What size is this? Um, this is half an ounce. I mean, it's not huge, but for eye cream, you really don't need much product at all for that area. So it did take me a while to use all of this up, but I really did like this. Um, I didn't really love the way it smelled, but it didn't really have a smell. Like it I don't think it was scented, it just kind of smelled like just plain lotion, I guess. So, it didn't smell great, but it didn't smell like awful either. It just didn't really have much of a scent other than like a lotion-y kind of scent. So, I do recommend this. I love this brand for skincare. Highly recommend the Mario Badescu skincare items. And again, most of these, or all of these that have been in this video, will be in my skincare video and it'll be more in depth review of this. Okay, next I'm pulling out this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. And this is the shade Sheer. It is like a white or like a translucent powder. And this is this actually had a lot of product in it. It's pretty finely milled. I did really like this powder and it was very inexpensive. I think it was only like $4 or so. It's been a while. Took me a while to use it up, but I definitely would repurchase this and I recommend it. So, yeah. Last thing I have is this Benefit Groof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number three. It says super easy brow filling and shaping pencil. So, yeah, I really did like this. It reminds me of the Anastasia Brow Definer. This is the travel size. And I definitely recommend this. I really did like it and I would repurchase this. So yeah, I would probably maybe get a little bit lighter of a shade next time. But other than that, I really did like this brow product and I would buy it again. So yeah, I think that is everything for this huge empties video or whatever you want to call it. Trash my whole bag of trash that I've been saving up and now I can throw it all away. But yeah, um, I guess I'll start saving more empty stuff for the next time. So yeah, if you enjoyed this, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below. It would mean so much to me and it would just be really great if you could join our little family here. And yeah, I thank you all so much for watching. I love you and Jesus loves you too. God bless you all. Bye.